Hi everyone, uh, I hope I find you well. So we, we have this question here, we need to find the derivative of that complex value function uh, using the definition, all right? So uh, the definition requires us to, 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 to find the derivative at some arbitrary point. So let the arbitrary point in our question be Z0. So the derivative of the given function at the arbitrary uh, point Z0 is given by, by definition from your previous knowledge, so it's delta Z, the limit as delta Z approaches zero of what? Of uh, F of Z0 plus delta Z minus F Z0 all over delta Z. This is the uh, formula by definition, all right? So now, what do we do next? Always we maintain limit as delta Z approaches zero. If you leave out this uh, expression here, then it becomes wrong, all right? So we maintain that. And then we substitute in the given function, we put this expression in there. So you may need to, impl to employ the Pascal's triangle in this case, Z naught cubed, this whole thing cubed is none other than Z naught to the power of three, then delta Z will be zero. The coefficient will be one, but the next coefficient will be three. Then Z naught, the power of Z naught will decrease but delta Z will start to, 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 to increase from zero to one. And then the next coefficient is also known to be a three. Uh, so Z naught and delta Z will have power two there. And the last one, I think it would be, Z naught will be to power zero. So we don't need Z naught anymore. So we are almost at Z to the power three, all right? This is the last. Uh, the last quantity, 1331, three, one. it's the Pascal's triangle. Okay, and uh, we need to subtract two by that. So it's minus two by Z naught, minus two delta Z, all right? So we are done with this one. Now minus, we put Z naught in that expression, then minus, so it will be minus Z naught to the power of three, all right? But minus and minus will give us a plus two uh, Z naught. Then everything divided by delta Z, okay? So this is equal to the limit as delta Z approaches zero of one. So let's, let's simplify these things, guys. Z naught cubed, we we'll cancel that Z naught cubed. And uh, two Z naught, we we'll cancel that and we, we remain with a quadratic expression or a cubic function of dz, of del z. So we can cancel delta z, delta z everywhere. So we will remain with three z naught squared plus three z naught delta z, okay? And plus delta z squared, this one. And then lastly, minus two, okay? So now we evaluate the limit now. So where there is delta z, we plug zero. So let's do that. This will become zero, that will become zero. We will remain with that and the last guy. So we end up with three z naught squared minus two. And this becomes our answer. Okay, so the derivative of that function at point z naught is three z naught squared minus two. You can quickly check if your answer is correct by merely differentiating here, guys. If you differentiate this with respect to z, so it will be three z squared minus two, which is exactly that. Okay. So this is the answer for that question. Thank you.